Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the mommy tag and this is my very first collab. I'm collabing with a girl named Abby Maisie. We met online on a Facebook group. Her channel is a lifestyle mommy channel. She has vlogs, she has sit down videos like unboxings and routines and Q&As. Her videos have her in them, her husband Noah, her little baby boy Abel, and her older daughter Heidi. If you're coming to her channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe. And also, if you're from my channel, please go over and check out her channel. Link down below will be her channel and also her mommy tag. So definitely go check her out. She's very funny, down to earth, very, very sweet, and you'll love her video. So go ahead and go over to her channel after you watch my video. And if you're from her channel, thanks for coming. Please be sure to like and subscribe. So for the mommy tag, it's just basically like 20 questions just about mommy stuff like it says mommy tag so yeah so the questions are on my phone um I'm gonna try to put them on the screen but like some of them are really long kind of and I haven't really I looked over these questions like once so nothing like I don't even know what I'm about to answer really so we're just gonna kind of go with the flow let's start so question number one how old were you when you had your first baby well, um, I had my first baby, I got pregnant at 20, and I had him when I was 20, and like my birthday, my 21st birthday was like two months later. Um, if you want to check out any of my pregnancy videos, I have, I found out I was pregnant in college, and also my labor and delivery videos, and you can check those out. Um, what was the hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months? Okay, the absolute hardest thing, it wasn't the whole nine months, but like from like the second trimester on, I could not get comfortable whatsoever. And usually with sleeping, sleeping I couldn't get comfortable, sitting, walking even, and I was pregnant during the summer so it was like really hot. So I was hot and uncomfortable. Can you think of any good things you enjoyed doing those nine months? Okay. The best thing about being pregnant for me was whenever I asked people for food, they would get it for me and there was always an excuse to eat and no judgment whatsoever. When well, now it's like all the judgment because I want to be a fatty, but like, can I just be a fatty? Okay. Um, it says, in your opinion, we're, we're, what? Can't read. In your opinion, were all the things you heard about childbirth accurate or way off? Um, I would say people exaggerate childbirth, I feel like, but then again, people have different experiences. But everything like the process and like videos I'd watch, everything was pretty much accurate. Like when you got the epidural, kind of like pain level, depending on your pain tolerance, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, pretty much everything was accurate, just over-exaggerated. Would you have handled childbirth differently if you could redo it? Um, yes. What I would do differently probably is to write down more what was happening or try to remember what was happening because during my childbirth I slept most of the time so I kind of wish I didn't sleep but it was also because like most of it was throughout the night but I definitely wish I stayed up more. So what would be your advice for someone who's about to have a baby? My advice for someone who's about to have a baby is not to be scared of labor because it has to happen and it's going to happen. It's the inevitable. The baby has to come out some way or another. So don't be scared about it, it just has to happen. We're women, we're made to do this, and that's what I try to think about when I was going to childbirth. If you're meant to do this, you're made to do this. So many women have done this, I can do this. So that's my most important advice for women about having a baby. What has been the hardest thing about being a mom? Hmm. Okay, the hardest thing about being a mom for me is just the, the I guess, trying the juggle life, basically. It's hard to find time for yourself. That's the biggest problem for me. It's really hard to find time for yourself. It's hard to do things that don't circle around your baby, basically. It's hard to like say, oh, I'm doing this for me, because everything now is like, oh, I'm doing this for my baby, or I'm doing this for, I'm doing this for Liam, or whatever. Um, what is, has been the most rewarding thing about being a mom? The most rewarding thing about being a mom is that there's always someone there that you know loves you, even if they can't say it, but there's always someone that loves you. So whenever you're feeling like a poop or you're feeling ugly, just know your baby loves you. What was the most surprising thing you discovered about being a mom? The most surprising thing I discovered about being a mom is how strong I am and how dependent on myself I can be. Granted, lots of people have helped me and I appreciate that and all that stuff, but I've seen how strong I can be as a woman and how I can handle things on my own when I need to for me and for my son. 
Okay, what's the best memory you have involving your child? Ugh. This is a hard one. Um, hmm. The best memory. I don't know if this counts, but like the best moments I have are like when we're like I co-sleep. If you're against that, sorry, but I co-sleep and like those are like the best moments, just cuddling and sleeping and like laughing with each other and looking at each other. Those moments I don't want to go away at all. So I'm trying to avoid the crib, but it has to happen. Um what was the most exciting milestone? Okay, the most exciting milestone of all is probably him laughing and him saying mama at first, because now all it is mama 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 over and over and over and over and over. It was cute. But cute can only go so far. But yeah, that's probably my favorite milestone. And then, what is the worst thing your child has ever done? Uh, Liam's only 11 months, so the worst thing he's done right now is probably just like hit me in the face and like laugh. I know he doesn't mean to because he's a baby, but like as a mom, when you're doing all this stuff all day, you have a rough day, you're trying so hard, doing all this stuff, your baby hits you and thinks it's funny, it kind of. Hmm, it kind of stings a little. Just a little. Kind of kind of hurts my feelings but yes yeah, so, I mean I know it's because he's a baby but like it still kind of hurts my feelings it makes me want to what habit do you wish your child didn't have uh, a habit I wish my child didn't have is being impatient and also being well this uh, it's bittersweet he's very very clean but like clean to the point where I can't do anything and if I give him to anyone he screams for me so like, I like it, but also, mm, I wish it was a little on the left side, you know? It can be clingy when you really want your mommy, but like, you can't just really want her every single second of the day and then not leave her alone. So yeah. What habit of theirs makes you most proud? Um, he's only 11 months, but I would say right now he's doing this thing that's, he's kind of trying to share. I don't know. If all babies do this but it's really really cute I like that and also um, he'll try to mimic everything I say and I just think that's really cute and that makes me feel like they're growing up oh Einstein you better boo um, do you share in similarities with your child both physically and personality okay physically he's his dad's twin I there's nothing I can do about that it's like his dad birthed him um, but I feel like we have the same nose not sure people say no I can I just have one feature maybe? Um, we're both very loud, um, very bubbly personalities so far he has, and very skeptical when it comes to meeting people the first time because he'll give you that, mm, you know, staying face, right? And I do that too, but like on accident, not on purpose. It's total RBF, on accident completely, just like, and he's the same thing. But once he gets comfortable, he's good. He's like, ah, ha, ha, girl, yeah, girl, ha, ha, just like me. Um, he don't say girl though, he just say, ah, ga, 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 ah, ga, ga, you know. Uh, let's see, where would you like your child to be in 10 years? In 10 years, Liam will be 11. Um, I would like him to be in middle school. <laughs> um, probably a public school because I was in public school. Um, I hope he's doing good in grades, has a few extracurriculars he's good at, whether, whatever it is for him, music, sports, art, whatever his heart's desire, I just hope he's doing what he loves. And keep it up with his grades. What is something that having a child has taught you? Hmm. Having a child has taught me lots of patience. <laughs> um, before Liam, I had a very thin patience and a very, I mean, I still have a hot temper. I still have very little patience, but I have a little bit more than I had before. Yes? Sorry, I was really interrupted. Liam pissed his cell. Okay. Next question, do you imagine you would be a mom at the age you became a mom? Um, no, I didn't. Um, I never thought, hey, I'm gonna be a young mom, or hey, I'm gonna be a young mom. But I'm kind of glad that I am a young mom um, for different reasons. That could be a whole other video. <laughs> but I'm really glad that I'm a young mom. And also, I always imagined my kids at my wedding or my kids at things that I was like, they realistically can't be there, but now Liam can be there. So I didn't imagine I'd be a mom at 20, but or 21 now, but I'm glad that I am. Describe your child in a single sentence. Liam is a ball of 
curious energy. <laughs> yeah, Liam is a ball of curious energy. Basically, that describes him very well. <laughs> um, how have you changed as a person since becoming a mom? I kind of touched on this earlier in another question, how I've changed. But basically, as I said earlier, I've become, I guess the word is softer. <laughs> Not that, yeah, if you know me, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but yeah, I have learned to be more patient with myself, with others, with life. I have learned to basically just let life live, basically, just let it go on. Um, I had lots of problems in the past with letting things happen not affect me but now I kind of just like things roll off my back I don't tolerate any kind of BS or nothing like that I just kind of go with the flow of things because there's nothing else I can do I can't control what's really going on besides what I can't control really so I'm basically just letting life just go do what it do flow like it flow you know I'm just kind of chilling so I would say I became more chill don't get me wrong I'm still hype but just a little less hype. And yeah, that's all the questions. There's 20 questions. So that is my mommy tag. Um, if you wanna see Abby's tag, go ahead and click the link down below. Don't forget to subscribe to her channel and check out all her videos. And please like her video as well. Please go ahead and like my video. If you wanna see more tags like this, comment down below what you wanna see. If you wanted to see something totally different, comment that down below as well. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, thanks girl, thanks bro, whatever. Thanks for being here, thanks for joining the fam. And until next time. Oh, also if you're coming from Abby's channel, thanks so much for being here. Until next time guys.